Hello, welcome to the Examining Paragon Pathfinder Network Topology Learning Bite. I'm Gordon with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After completing this learning bite, you will be able to examine network topology using Paragon Pathfinder. Paragon Pathfinder uses BGP to discover your network topology. Detailed information about the nodes and links that make up your WAN is stored in a traffic engineering database that is automatically created by your network IGP, either ISIS or OSPF. Routing policy is used to redistribute the information in the traffic engineering database into BGP link state routing information. BGP LS routes. It's the BGP LS routing information that's communicated typically by a route reflector on a large enterprise or service provider WAN. The BGP LS routes are communicated to the Paragon Pathfinder containerized routing protocol daemon. This is the Junos CRPD. Any BGP LS routing information that is received by the Paragon Pathfinder CRPD is retrieved by the Paragon Pathfinder BGP Monitoring Protocol container and forwarded up to the Paragon Pathfinder topology server. And this is the Paragon Pathfinder component that combines your network topology information along with any MPLS LSP information that's discovered using the Path Computation Element Protocol or PSEP. All of that information is combined by the Paragon Pathfinder Topology Server Container application into a network topology and the Paragon Pathfinder Path Computation Service will retrieve that when it needs to perform MPLS label switched path forwarding computations. So that's how the network topology is retrieved and discovered automatically from your network. And the cool thing about this is it uses routing protocols. So this topology is discovered in and updated in real time. Once the network topology has been discovered, it's viewable inside of the Paragon Automation interface. This is the nodes. These are the nodes and the links that make up your WAN. Now, this information was ingested, this traffic engineering information was generated by an OSPF, uh, from an OSPF network, and not all information is stored in the TED. For example, in an OSPF traffic engineering database, the node's host name is not included. The, the, the router ID is, but the host name isn't. An ISIS traffic engineering database does include the host name. So some of the values about the nodes aren't included in the TED and, and aren't visible inside of the Paragon Automation User Interface, but what we're going to look at is a lot of traffic engineering related information about the links is, and this is what I want you to see. So I'm going to connect to an administrative workstation now, and we're going to examine information about the network topology inside of the Paragon Automation Interface. This is the Paragon Automation UI. I've selected the network topology. There's two primary areas of information on this screen. There's the network topology map, so we can see our nodes and our links. You can highlight, select, right-click, assign labels, view you know, tunnel traffic that, that's flowing through particular nodes or links on the network. In the node, in the network info pane, you, you have the individual components from your network topology. You'll see the, the nodes that make up your network. Now, there's some additional information that's visible here that wasn't visible in the slides I showed you previously because I've created what are called Paragon Automation Device Profile Entries. And they store information that's actually not in the traffic engineering database, like host names and, and vendor information. That's valuable information for Paragon to, to have for display purposes and also for management uh, capabilities. And so I can see the, the router ID of the different nodes. There's six nodes in the network. I can see certain protocol information about protocol status. There's a couple of nodes that have PSEP enabled so I can label switch paths, use Paragon Pathfinder to manage the label switch path, paths in this particular WAN. All of the nodes have NetConf enabled so Paragon Automation can gather statistics, perform what's called device collection, and I can see autonomous system uh, information, uh, management IP addresses. I can also click on, I can select a node. Uh, for example, it's automatically highlighted in the topology map. I can click the details icon that appears once you mouse over it, and I can uh, select the details tab and move this over a little bit, make it a little uh, easier to see. Uh, but again, more detailed node information, for example, the, you know, the autonomous uh, system. What uh, 
I want to show you here the protocols. Now, a lot of this information is gathered by the device profile entries that I mentioned earlier. I said all the nodes, for example, had NetConf enabled. And, and, and NetConf is used to manage network devices, right? Re uh, obtain, uh, manage configuration on a device. And if I'm using NetConf for that, Paragon Pathfinder actually discovers the NetConf capabilities of a particular node. And so, for example, if I'm trying to use NetComp to manage a device on my network, does it support, for example, a configuration rollback? Well, these are the, the, the UR, universal resource names, every NetComp capability that that particular node supports. If I'm trying to automate my network, that's good information to have, and it's, it's automatically discovered inside of Paragon Pathfinder. So I can learn, you know, uh, PSEP capabilities, Management IP addresses, the device host name comes from the uh, device profile entry that's created, but information from the TED, like the router ID, um, it is generated from the TED, uh, information that's redistributed to BGPLS and ingested by Paragon Pathfinder. Let me close the, the node information. I want to switch to the links tab down in the network info pane, and I can see every single link on the network. If I click a link, uh, similar to nodes, uh, it, it's highlighted in the topology map, so you can kind of walk through, you know, just select a particular link, scroll down to, to view an interesting link, and then once you, uh, similar to what we did with nodes, you, you can also click the, the detail icon, and I'm not gathering in interface statistics or any kind of traffic statistics, but details will display information that is learned from your the TED that's generated by your IGP. For example, you know, on this link, endpoint A, right? Uh, I can see the IP address of the interface that's attached to that link. I can see what type of protocol it uses. I can see node information. For example, the router ID, this is VMX4. This is the router ID of that particular endpoint. I can see uh, protocol information, for example, OSPF, the traffic engineering metric on that link, on the RSVP bandwidth that's available, reservable bandwidth that's available on that particular link. And, and, and this is all information that's updated dynamically, right? It's all done by routing protocols. But TED information like reserved bandwidth, available bandwidth, maximum, all of that type of information is communicated using BGP, right? Or it's Paragon Pathfinder where the topology server can build all of this for us, right? I can get utilization, right? What's the available bandwidth? And again, if you have ever run on a Junos platform that's running an IGP, like a show TED database, this is the type of information that Paragon Pathfinder ingests. And when Paragon Pathfinder needs to configure a label switch path that requires a certain amount of bandwidth that can only be forwarded over a certain path, this information is utilized to make sure that an available path can be computed for an LSP and then signaled on the network. So this is the network topology information and BGP LS and BG, the BGP protocol is how this information is built. In this learning bite, we examined network topology using Paragon Pathfinder. Thank you very much. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.